And uh, Dr. Pugsley, uh, we have $300 for him because you blew it, a title which is rare. Uh, and now, <laughs> here is our second guest. Anybody guesses what is off the show, you know that. <laughs> Mrs. Russell Bowler, owner of Herman, an amorous tomcat who is being sued in a court of law for bigamy. Well, you should find this one out in no time at all. <laughs> uh, you have uh, $50, and uh, you have a clue. Certainly wonderful how you taught two ants to play tennis. Well, after 20 of them died on the ant buttons, I only had two left. I'm getting them ready now for the match at an ant hill at Wimbledon next week. Outside, 40 love. So, that was inside. It was outside, 40 love. That was inside, and it was right there. <laughs> Get them. I'm enjoying the clothes. I don't even want to play the game. Hansela, you, you must have gotten something. Of course. Madam, please. Uh, is that what you've done that's newsworthy associated with tennis? No. Any athletic sport? No. Uh, maybe a, a shoot at a target we've completely missed. Are you an actress? I have been an actress at one time. No. There you are. I see her. Are you somebody's aunt? <laughs> well, I imagine so. Somebody's. <laughs> Uh, is this thing that you uh, that you did? Is this something that was uh, uh, seen or heard of recently in the newspaper? <laughs> Can't they wait until you finish the question? If you inhale, they ring the bell. Oh, now watch him cut me off because you were laughing. If I read this in the newspaper, would I read it on the society page? No. Would I read it on the uh, real estate? Very good, my dear. You almost got two in that time. Age. You have $100, and here is your second clue. Uh, after I finished playing the ukulele and the kazoos, that uh, we might, perhaps you and I... I knew you were thinking that. Nevertheless, I must go. <laughs> Ta-ta. Ah. <laughs> Twenty-four. Hold on, wait a minute, number 25. You're a little late. Sorry. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Hold on there, twenty-six. You forgot to kiss me goodnight. Good night. Hey, wait a minute. I only have twenty-five wives. Turn around here. There, Hans. <laughs> there, Hans. There, there. Please, madam, does the number 25 or 26 have anything to do with the situation? No, I... Not really. No? Uh, is music, is there music connected, in, connected with it at all? Oh, yes, there's music. Well, yes. Uh, yes, I guess so. Is there? <laughs> yes. Uh, Caesar? Are you, uh, are you married, may I ask? Oh, yes. Does this have something to do with your particular claim to fame? Your marriage to someone or with with someone? No. <laughs> so, uh, uh, were you in the newspapers just recently, within the past month? 
Yes. 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 Uh, does the, the the T for two? Does the number two have something to do with this? Where it, is it, are two people involved in your reasons for being here? Mm. No. No. Uh, no let's get back to the newspaper. Mm. Uh, would you read this on the the uh, stock market page, maybe? <laughs> no. <laughs> Real estate? No. All right. You you have one hundred and fifty dollars, and now here is your third illuminating little clue. I don't think we should go any further, my dear. Our chief gun bearer tells me that this is lion country. And there's a wild cat that's been gobbling up the natives like peanuts. Oh, Harvey. Sometimes I wish you had a little more nerve. Oh, look at Trader Leonard. Why can't you be more like him? Yeah, why don't you be more like me, you little sissy? I'm born and bred in the jungle. I fear nothing. <laughs> Uh, have you ever worked with lions? Worked with cats? No. Yes. No animal trainer? Swinging cats? Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I mean larger felines, oh, tigers. <laughs> well, it wasn't that was the first. Oh, mm. did he cost me my cat? <laughs> <laughs> it's on our Seize, time. baby. Would you be a famous huntress? No. You have nothing to... No? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's nothing to do with cats? Did, what, did cats, it? yes, cats. cats. Yeah, it has nothing to do with cats. Cats. Uh, yeah, you have, you have one right here. Yes. Are you? Is your cat the champion something or other of the? Are you a champion cat breeder? Take your part. <laughs> My dear, clear the air. Let's, let's get back to the cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear the air. About these cats, are they like you know swinging cats? No. <laughs> Live feline cat? Yes, yes. Bailey's domestic cat. Really? I heard, I heard, have you, um, oh dear. <laughs> Anybody but Caesar. Uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, will be uh, explained to you now. Our guest is Mrs. Russell Baller, owner of Herman, the amorous tomcat who is being sued in court of a law for bigamy. <laughs> Can we bring out Herman? Can, yeah, this thing really great. Great. Can we bring Herman? Hugh Herman, would you? Hugh Herman. Uh, actually, uh, Herman is in a great deal of trouble. The Siamese that we intimated. Oh, the... oh my! Here's Herman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll say he's in trouble. He's a. Uh... Look, I'll tell you. I'll get a hand mic and sit back a few feet. Uh, 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 Herman, it seems, gotten to uh, what might be uh, uh, charitably uh, termed a cage full of uh, Siamese cats, more or less. And, uh... This happened. Well, that's how it goes, you know. And, uh, hey. How and much does Herman weigh? Well, he weighed ten pounds when the cat fight started. I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I had to kick him. He's been in house arrest for five months. Well, he's, he's been tired. in his house arrest for five months. Well, he we can't go visit the cat. We <laughs> <laughs> live kitty corner and back. That's it. Oh... Uh, he doesn't is... look happy at all. Well, he, this may lead to psychoanalysis uh, gradually. But uh, but the first clue was in court, the tennis court. He is in court. The second clue was Siamese, and the third was the big cat. The what was Siamese about that? Well, I'll tell you. Clue? I'll tell you about that while Edie tells you about a small new cigar that gives you the tip. The Herman, uh, tell me, how many how many cats were involved in this? Fifty. <laughs> and uh, do you think you're going to win your law case? Oh, well, I don't do that under there. You know what it does to me. It drives me crazy. Uh, oh, goodness. Oh, give him the Dutch master. Oh. <laughs> That's better. You can start a big fight now. Yeah. I like the second night to the panel, the audience, and all those 50 cats. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good luck. we to you by Dutch Master Cigars. Add new smoothness to your smoking with Dutch Masters, made from specially selected tobaccos that are married for mildness to assure cooler, smoother taste. Next time, step up to finer smoking pleasure with Dutch Masters, the fine cigar.
accommodations for guests are provided by Hotel Hollywood Knickerbocker. Appearing with Mr. Kovacs in tonight's clues were Jolene Brand and Bobby Lahr. Take a Good Look was created by Irving Mansfield and Peter Arnell.